Well, roughly, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about four calculations that let me know or let help me confirm that this is a good contract. That Guyana received a good contract from Exxon Mobil. And this is a very simple calculation to be done. What we've done is simply taken the figures that are available and performed some Excel calculations, put them in the spreadsheet, and run some Excel calculations, some plots, and some uh, integrations, some calculus on them. And and this is what we got. Right. So stay tuned. This is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. So here we go, guys. The first calculation, the first calculation we need to make is to find out what is the equivalent royalty that Guyana got from ExxonMobil. In other words, we got a 2% royalty plus a 50% profit sharing agreement. But if you converted all of that to royalty, what would be the equivalent royalty? Now, this question was raised by an accountant and I decided to address this question using math by calculating the average profit margin that ExxonMobil uh, has obtained in the past and applied that to the current uh, situation with Eliza Field. And when you do that, you get the average profit margin works out to be about 5%, right? The average profit that Exxon has made over the last 15 years is about 5%. And if we got 50% profit, we would only get 2.5% of that. So the total royalty equivalent of our contract would be 2.5% plus the 2% royalty, 4.5%. And I'd, I will suggest to you that if we had signed a contract for 4.5% royalty alone, nobody would be satisfied. Right? Because Suriname just signed a contract for 6.25% royalty. If we had signed a contract for 4.5% royalty alone, that would have been a bad contract. But we didn't sign a contract for 4.5% royalty. We signed a contract for 2% royalty and 50% profit. And that gives us the best of both worlds. It gives us guaranteed income from the revenue, the total oil that is produced, and it gives us a share of the profit as the price of oil goes up. In other words, the better the price of oil, the higher the price of oil, the greater the share. The greater the amount of money Guyana receives because 50% of a larger figure is a larger number, right? So that is number one. We would never have signed a contract, of, we would not have signed a contract for 4.5% royalty because that would be a bad contract. Instead, we got 2% royalty and 50% profit and that's a better contract. Why is that a better contract? Because question number two. Question number two is how does royalty perform compared to profit sharing? Somebody said to me, not the person who is an accountant, said that Guyana should have signed an all royalty agreement because royalty is always better than profit sharing. He just swears by royalty. And so I plotted the graph to show that royalty does not perform better than profit. A profit sharing agreement always outperforms royalty. And this is the graph I plotted. Take a look at it. What it shows is that the slope of the profit sharing contract is steeper so it rises much more steeply than the slope of the royalty alone contract and to be able to to match the current agreement of 50% profit and 2% royalty we would have had to sign a contract for 14.25% royalty alone and that is nowhere near what we um, what was being offered or what other people are being offered like for example in Suriname they got 6.25% royalty we would have to get 14.25% royalty for our contract a royalty only contract to be equivalent to our current profit sharing and royalty contract so the third question would have been or the third question to ask would be what kind of royalty would we have had to accept for this contract to be worth it as an all royalty agreement only and that is 14.25% so I've shown that the plot the current contract, which appears as this horizontal pink line in this graph uh, presented here, you would have to increase the royalty all the way up to 14.25%. On the x-axis you have increasing royalty. You would have to increase the royalty to 14.25% before it crosses, before it reaches the graph, the horizontal line. So that tells me that we would could not accept 
less than 14.25% royalty as an equivalent of this contract. And if you look around, like I said, if you look around at the contracts being offered, so you know I've got 6.25%. 14.25% is way above what we would have to have been offered in terms of royalty. But in fact, what we did get is equivalent to 14.25% royalty because we share in the profits. And finally, how do we know it's a good contract? Well, you have to be able to see both sides of this issue. We said that the profit margin for ExxonMobil is just about 5%, right? So it does not make sense for ExxonMobil to give us 65% profit or 65% a share greater than 50%, like 65% or 75%, some people, as some people have argued, right? If we got 60% of the profit, that means of the 5% profit margin, Exxon would get 2% and Guyana would get 3%. And that 2% from Exxon has to go be shared with Hess Corporation, Exxon, and Nexon, which is CNOC, that is China's um, National Offshore Oil Company, right? CNOC. So the agreement is signed between Guyana and a partner of partnership of three companies. So the share that Exxon gets, their 50% profit, has to be further divided up to provide shares for China and Hess and Exxon. And this is why it is a good contract, because you could never argue that Guyana should get a greater share than 50% when our 50% we only we can utilize all of our 50%, whereas the other 50% has to be divided into three. 25% of that goes to China, 45% goes to Exxon, and another 35% goes to Hess Corporation. Right? So so this is a deal. Now if you argue using game theory, right? If you, game theory is like what you see on these game shows, Price is Right or a Deal or No Deal or some of these game shows that you see where the, the contestant is um, allowed to wager a certain amount of money that, to win that they must have won, they, they've already won against betting against getting the right answer to this question. And so the question is what do you stand to lose? You want to lose all this money that you've already won against the possibility of winning more or losing all the money that you have. And that's how game theory works. That's how contracts are made. That's how deals are made in contracts. So we have, we have a situation where we could end up with nothing at all because Exxon is the best ex uh, oil company exploring for oil in the world. They are offering us 50% of the profit. We could reject that because we want more and then Exxon could decide no deal. We lose everything. We get nothing. Or we can accept 50% of profit and 2% royalty in exchange for something. In other words, getting half of what Exxon makes in the future. And I think that is a good deal, right? Anything less than 50% might have been a bad deal, but 50% profit sharing is a good deal. So that is my justification, guys. Those are the four things that, the four calculations that I've made justifying why this is a good contract. Not only a good contract, but a great contract. Tell me what you think about these calculations. So there you have it guys, those are the four things, the four reasons why this is a great contract. One is that we got the equivalent of 14.25% royalty, right? So the first thing is that we got the equivalent of 14.25% royalty. Two is that a profit sharing arrangement is always better than a royalty agreement because as the graph shows, a profit sharing contract always outperforms a royalty only contract just from plotting those figures you can see it. Thirdly, because of the deal or no deal game theory, because of game theory, we could have lost everything and we chose to get 50%. In other words, we chose to get 50% of the profit and allow the other 50% to be divided between the three partners, China, Exxon and Hess Corporation, which is a great deal because the profit margin is only 50%, and so we get the profit margin is only 5%, so we get 2.5% of a profit margin, and Exxon divides the remaining 2.5% between its three partners. And that is why it's a great deal. It's a great deal because when you look at it from the outside, from both sides of the deal, from the Exxon side of the deal and from Guyana side of the deal, there is a fair division of the profits, right? Because in a good deal, 
each party gets what they need and each party gets some of what they want. Both parties have to be satisfied and that is why it's a good deal splitting the profits down the middle. So guys, those are my opinions, those are my th thoughts on the deal Guyana got. So when you hear people arguing about Guyana got, getting a bad deal, take them to the math, do some math, show them the calculations, show them why this is a great deal, not just a good deal, it's a great deal. Now, if you have any comments below, if you have any comments, leave them below, let me hear what you think about the deal Guyana got, what you have heard about the deal Guyana got, and whether you think it's a bad deal or a good deal, whether you agree with the math, let me know in the comments below. Remember you can like and subscribe, share, with this, share this video with friends and family around the world, let people know what's happening in Guyana. Later!